Hi everybody, what do all violin players and viola players have in common? Well, we are always searching for a really, really good and comfortable shoulder rest. So I think that I've found the perfect shoulder rest and that's called the EFL or FL, E-F-E-L shoulder rest made in the Czech Republic and I'm super excited because I just got a package that includes a whole bunch of them that I ordered and I'm ready to open the box and take a look at them so we can see what these shoulder rests are all about. So let's start by taking a look at what we get in each package. Well, I've got a bag that has a shoulder rest and a little card inside. Let's take out the card. It says that it's a plus viola high, which is an Eiffel plus model for the viola and a number five, which is, I think that's the model number that they make these days. They've had a one, a two, a three, and a four, and now we have a five. So that's like the um, generation, it's a fifth generation. And on the back, we have some instructions, how to use this, how to move the wires around, which I'm gonna show you right now. And then we have the shoulder rest over here. It's a very nice looking, very simple shoulder rest. This is the viola one. As you can see, it's a big piece of black foam here and one wire. The wire actually starts right here and it goes all along here, swirls down, goes inside the foam, through the foam and comes out over here and ends the same way over here. And you can see that there are these little discs here, right there and right there and over here too that grab onto the side of the instrument so that we don't scratch the instrument or cause any, any invasiveness to the instrument. And one thing I can tell you right off the bat with this shoulder rest, it's extremely light, which I really like about it. That means that it's not going to be invasive to me, that when I put my instrument up, it's gonna basically feel like I have the weight of the viola or the violin on me and nothing else. So I don't have a heavy, clunky shoulder rest. It's very light. So that's really good for me. These over here, they're bent like this. And basically what I can do is I can hold it like this and I can pull it and make it higher, or I can push it like this and make it lower. I prefer mine not too high, so I put it on the low side and I can bend it a little towards the middle so it sticks on my instrument a little bit better. And the same thing over here. I usually make sure that this angle and this angle are pretty parallel with each other so I can bend it around a little bit. And the other great thing about this shoulder rest is that you can see it's relatively flat there, but some people like a real curvy shoulder rest. So I can actually feel the, the wire in here and bend it so that I have much more curve in the shoulder rest, like so. So you can see that I just curved it a lot. I'm gonna curve it back just a little bit, kind of how I like it usually, but you can do whatever you like. Feel it on my shoulder, it feels good. Some people can take a while to figure out their own feel that they like here. I think like this feels good to me. You can see that it fits really well on my shoulder like that, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And let me try it on the instrument. So I have a viola here. Basically you take the curvy side and put it under the chin rest. So that's this way. I take the two discs and line them up on the side of the instrument like so. Hold over here and just pull it down until it locks onto the instrument. You can hear it lock on there. And now one big thing that I have about shoulder rests is that I don't like them falling off when I'm playing. So I always check to see is this gonna stay on? So I try to pull it off and it doesn't. It's very, very, very sturdy here. I don't think it's going to fall off. So I feel very confident that when I'm playing, I won't have an accident where the shoulder rest falls off. When I put the instrument up, it feels very comfortable. It feels good. You can see from over here that it really, really conforms to my body. So it goes right over my shoulder and I feel very secure with it. I can still move the instrument around. I have mobility, but it feels very secure. And when I take my arm away, it's very, very easy to hold the instrument up and that's good for me. And when I take my arm away, it's very easy for me to hold the instrument up without my arm. So the shoulder rest is definitely doing its job. It makes it a lot easier for me to play. So let's try a few notes on the viola with the shoulder rest on. <laughs> you 
you'll notice it's very, very easy for me to hold the instrument up, which is a good sign for a shoulder rest. Who are these shoulder rests for? These are for people that like comfortable, light shoulder rests that conform to your body and are non-invasive to an instrument and will not fall off the instrument. And I think that's great. Are there any cons to these shoulder rests? I would say the biggest con to these shoulder rests is that it has this wire here. And so I think over time, if you adjust it too many times, I think the wire could be fragile. And so you have to think about that. So you may have to replace it every few years, or if you just leave it the way it is, it's probably okay. Now let's take a look at a violin shoulder rest and see if there are any differences. The violin shoulder rest comes in the same package and looks basically the same, except the holes are smaller because the shoulder rest is smaller, and this one's really small, but everything's basically the same. Remember, this is the plus model. There's a regular model, there's a plus model, and an artist model. The difference between the models is that the regular model, this little distance here between the wire and the end of the shoulder rest is smaller as it is here. And in the artist one, this is a little longer and this is a little longer. So there's just a longer piece of pad here, a longer piece of foam. I prefer the plus version because I don't think, I think the artist version is overkill and I think the plus version feels just right to me. And you can see it has this nice curve right out of the box. So I put it on my instrument. It fits well, it's secure, it's light. I put it up just like the viola, I can hold the instrument up so easily. And you can see how beautifully it conforms to my body. So this shoulder rest is a real winner. I highly recommend this shoulder rest. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we're always looking for that holy grail of shoulder rests. And you know what? I think this is it. As you know, I play a lot without a shoulder rest and just with a little red disc pad, which is fine. But when I do use a shoulder rest, I can't recommend this FL shoulder rest highly enough. If you're interested in getting one, why don't you send me a comment below and we'll see about getting one for you. That would be awesome. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's helpful for you. And until the next time I see you, happy practicing.